One, two, three, hey, this is jump! So much up here. Behind me is a North Korean water park in Pyongyang. What is a North Korean water park gonna look like? Let's go and check it out. Yeah. Hi. Swimming. Swimming, yes, yeah, swimming. Thank you very much. Come to me there. So I've just paid 80 RMB, which is Chinese money, for this little basket. So I've got swimming shorts, locker key, flannel, shampoo, shower foam, and a towel. So it's worked out like 10 euros for the whole basket, which isn't too bad. Before I go into the water park though, I've been told that there's a barber shop in the water park. So I thought I'd go for a quick trim first. Hi, how are you? Uh, trim, haircut. Ah, okay, no worries, thank you. How weird is this, a full barber shop? in a water park. One chair, two chair, three chair, four chair, five chairs. On second thoughts, I think I'm gonna pass on the haircut. I don't really wanna get my hair butchered, to be honest. So let's just go straight into this water park. I wonder how big it's gonna be. Changing rooms this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, this way. Thank you. It's busier here than it is in actually Pyongyang. This, this way, yeah, thank you. I didn't think it was a good idea to film in there. I didn't wanna show you a load of naked Korean men. I tell you what, this place is Rammed. It is absolutely huge as well. There's an outside to it. Oh my god, look how big this place is. You've got like a huge slide in the back over there. Then you've got like swirly side, big pool. Oh my god, it's huge. I genuinely can't believe how busy it is here. This is the busiest I've seen it in North Korea since I've been here. What is happening over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm liking the matching trunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is insane. Right, my turn to go on something. Jesus, that was the scariest thing I've done. Mate, how was that for you? Pretty good. You, uh, your, your body literally leaves It did, didn't the it? Slide it come for, off for it. seconds. Jeez. It's, uh, legitimately terrifying. I nearly lost my swimming trunks up my bum as well. Still looking good, mate. <laughs> right, yes, who's no. jumping? I'm jumping. You're jumping? Mate, you're questions. jumping. What? Are you jumping? Yeah. Come on, water slides right. for children. This is the actual adult. Right, we're side. jumping. Let's do this. <laughs> Frank, you can do it! Hey! <laughs> Frank, you can do it! Ah! How are you, mate? Good, good, good. 10 Excited. meters? Are you going up? No, 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 no. <laughs> Some water park, this, isn't it? Isn't it? Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Right, now it's my turn to do it. Let's just say I'm absolutely terrified. Oh, that's very, uh, very high. You can do it. Matt, I'm gonna have to do it, Adam. Yeah, you have to do it. One, two, three, hey, this is jump! So much higher up here. Come on. Mate, I've got like a big throw. Come on, touch it up, Bally Bally! <laughs> Is the scariest thing I have done. My knees are shaking. Yeah. Right, I'm going on the 10 meter. You're, what? Matt, Matt, you ain't going on the 10 meter. 
You're going on the 10 meter. Oh my god, I've got to see this. Matt, are you actually going to do this? Yeah, without doubt. Come so on, let's see. Water slides it. are all good and well if you're a child, but I'm a full grown adult now, so I can do scary <laughs> things like 10 meter diving boards. <laughs> I can't actually believe he's going to do the 10 meter. There is no way he's doing this 10 meter. I'm not having this. No, he's not. He's actually going up. No way. Whoa. Oh, Matt. He's not doing it. Karina! Karina! Matt! Uh, every credit! Oh, thanks, man. How was that, mate? That was great. It's not like getting a cut it up head to sun to warm people up. It's actually. <laughs> Terrifying up there. Mate, I love the North Korean song at the top. <laughs> there you go. You. He deserves it. <laughs> I know. Can I jump? Can I jump? No, don't chicken out. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Mate, how scary was that? Well, the so most scary part was Oscar's you taking so long. On the platform, Oscar's I just jumped. But, <laughs> but when I had to wait two minutes, my knee started trembling, trembling, trembling. <laughs> mate, but we did it. We did it, mate. Woo. What a day at this water park. I didn't even know North Korea had water parks. What do you think of the water park, mate? It was amazing. Only the slides were a bit wah, but the jumps were awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Right, super oh, informal. <laughs> Very informal. Very informal. Three cameras informal. <laughs> <laughs> I've obviously my first time in North Korea, so I'm a bit naive to it. How many times have you been back? Uh, coming up to 70 times now. 70 yeah, times? Yeah, a lot of times. And what's your experience with coming here every time? Like, do you learn things every time you come or? Yeah. Every single time I come here, and I think this is why I love working here so much, because it is such a, an interesting country to learn about. And the more times you come here, do you enjoy it more every time? Yeah, I mean, like at the end of the day, you know, it's a job, but it's yeah. a job that I truly love doing. For everyone who comes here, it's a great holiday and it's sort of fun. It's an, you know, it's an incredible cultural experience to see a country that is so different from basically the rest of the world, which yeah. is just, you know, it's a fascinating thing. And if yeah, you absolutely. have the right frame of mind and, and you can come in with an open mind and you're, you're ready to sort of, I guess, put politics aside and, and experience the people in this country, mm. you can really have a pretty life-changing experience. And so that to me is amazing to facilitate to people. Yeah, since I've been here, I've had a different perception of it mm. to what I thought, because I was coming in here, to be honest. I don't normally like research stuff that I do. I always like to go in with an open mind. And yeah. like, it's not what I thought it would be, to be honest. What did you think it was going to be like? I just thought it would be like sort of dramatized. You right, get me? Like, right. you know, people say, oh, actors, and, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's all going to be staged yeah. and stuff. But yeah. we've traveled enough around it yeah. to see that it's not actually, sure. people are just getting on with their lives. And like, I think it's important as well, like with the itinerary, for example, mm. I've come to you in the morning and I've gone, Matt, what are we doing today? And mm. you've gone, we're doing this, that, and this, but mm. then that's changed. Mm. That's been out of your power. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we've gone somewhere last minute. Yeah. So they've not been prepared for that. Yeah, oh yeah. The first time I came here, I really wanted that like Truman Show experience that you read and hear about. Yeah, exactly. And I did the exact same tour that you've, you've done back in 2014, 10 yeah. days, Liberation Day and Summer Tour. The thing that I took away, which is much like you have, is that, oh damn, it's not this Truman Show, fake actors everywhere. Yeah. Oh, this is just a country that's getting on with their lives. People here just want to live. They want the best for their families and their friends and their future. What are your thoughts on people that say, by coming to North Korea, you're supporting the government? I believe that tourism is one of the most important forms of cultural exchange. For a country like here, which is already very, very closed off, I don't really see how further closing it off from coming here is helpful at all. Yeah. For both under mutual understanding for us as outsiders, and also yeah. for the Koreans to see that, you know, the outside world isn't out to get them and isn't this, you know, big evil place essentially. Yeah. The whole of my brand skin is to inspire young people, just people in general, mm. to travel, yeah. to experience different things. And, mm. you know, living in places with no money, you know, you don't have to have a fortune to travel. Mm -hmm. Living in the UK, news, news about all these different countries, war yeah. here. I just want to show it for what it is. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I don't know the ins and outs of all the countries I've been to, but mm -hmm. all I can do is document my experience sure. from my yeah, point of view. That's, that's what I've done on this trip. The people who yell 
loudest yeah. about North Korea. I guarantee are the people who have never come here before. Yeah. And yes, it is a unique country. Yes, there are things that could be improved in this country. Yeah. Without question. But there is more happening in this country than goose stepping military soldiers and, you know, missile tests. And if you come anywhere yeah. with an open mind, willing to like listen to people, to learn from other countries, think about other perspectives that are not your own, because we live in a damn big world with lots of different perspectives, yeah. you're, you're gonna have a truly eye-opening experience here. Last but not least, what would you <clears throat> say to somebody who likes traveling, but has got this negative view of North Korea? Honestly, it's not for everyone, you know? Like, yeah. if you don't wanna come, that don't come. If you want to experience a truly unique country, which is going to test your whole idea of reality, ideology, and culture, then come here with an open mind. I guarantee that you'll have a unique experience. Whatever you take away yeah, from it, that's up to that, you. Yeah, and I'll second that, because I've come here, and I've had a unique experience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, just come with an open mind. I'm not gonna tell you, like, hey, come to North Korea, it's gonna, like, you know, blow your mind. Maybe you'll just think it's bizarre, maybe you'll hate it, but yeah. come with an open mind and open heart, and it's a fascinating place. I should have mentioned this at the start, but Matt's a tour guide for YPT. I'm gonna put their link below. I'm also gonna put Matt's Instagram below, so if anybody does wanna reach out or see the stuff Matt's been up to, definitely check that out. Any last words, mate? Pangas <laughs> mira.